Hi friends, gather around for the children's message. It's good to have you with us today. I'm so glad you're here. So I have a question for you. Have you ever gone camping? What, what happens when you go camping? What do you have to do? What do we have to do? We have to pitch our tent, right? And then we have to dig out our food. We have to make a, a campfire so that we can eat our freeze dried food and make um, all those kinds of things. And then as it gets dark or darker, then we get to sit around the campfire and we get to have our s'mores. That's pretty fun, isn't it? And while you're sitting there eating your s'mores, what else usually happens? You start telling stories maybe, and then you start telling ghost stories maybe, and then by the time you go to bed, you're all scared, aren't you? Yeah, because we always get afraid of ghosts, even though we know that ghosts aren't real, right? Okay, right. But we, it still spooks us, doesn't it? Well, you know what? That's sort of what our Bible story is going to be about today. About ghosts. Pretty strange, huh? Well, let's see what happens. So the disciples opened, their eyes opened wide with surprise. Cleopas and his friend said they just saw Jesus alive. Could it be true, the disciples wondered? So if we back up a couple, a little bit, a, chat, or a few verses in their story, Cleopas and his friend were on a walk and they were going to a place called Emmaus. And when they were on their walk, they were talking to each other and all of a sudden, a man came and joined them and was asking what they were talking about. And they said, seriously, are you the only one who hasn't heard what's been going on here? And he said, well, tell me. So they told him about Jesus. And what happened to Jesus in the last couple of weeks? Remember, what have we been talking about? Jesus died on the cross, right? On Good Friday, and then on Easter, he rose, right? So they were telling him all about their friend Jesus and how their friend Jesus taught about God's love and forgiveness. And so they kept walking, and they were so engrossed with the story that then it got to be dark. But then they got to their house at Emmaus, and since it was dark, sometimes it's kind of scary at night. So they invited this stranger to come and have supper with them. And so he came. And when he took the bread, he blessed it. And then he broke it. And he gave it to those disciples. Does that sound kind of familiar? They thought they heard those words before too. He took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them. And they looked up and they said, Jesus, it's you. They're like, oh my goodness. And Jesus is like, yeah. So they hurried and ran to tell the rest of the disciples. That's where we are now. Clopas and his friend said they just saw Jesus alive. And then suddenly Jesus appeared with, in amongst the disciples. And he said, peace be with you. The disciples jumped in surprise, and they ducked in fear. You can't be Jesus. Jesus died, exclaimed Peter. It must be a ghost, shouted John. Don't be afraid, said Jesus calmly. Look at my hands and feet. Touch me. Ghosts don't have skin and bones. Even though they could see his hands and feet, Jesus saw that the disciples did not believe. So here we've got the disciples, and there's Jesus. And then they're talking. He showed him his hands and his feet so that they knew that it was Jesus. Do you have anything here to eat? Jesus asked. The disciples gave Jesus some broiled fish. They watched as Jesus ate it. Everyone gasped. Ghosts don't have hands and feet, but they could see Jesus' fingers and toes. Ghosts can't eat, but they saw Jesus eat the fish. One by one, the disciples believed. Jesus, you are alive, they cheered. Jesus smiled. I have died and come back to life for you. Jesus told them, you are forgiven for your sins. 
You must share this good news with everyone. So here Jesus is eating the fish. I'm like, but ghosts can't eat fish. And ghosts don't have hands and fingers. So then they believed that Jesus was alive. And they were excited. And Jesus said, go share the good news. And so the disciples went and shared the good news about Jesus. And that's what we need to remember too, right? Jesus isn't a ghost because we don't have ghosts. But Jesus is always with us. And he asks us to tell the world about him. So that's our task. We go about sharing God's good news, that Jesus is alive, and he's with us, and he loves us so much. And so we can tell everybody else about it. And in our telling, we can also show people that God loves them, right? We can be the hands of Jesus, sharing the good news and doing things for others. So think about this that this week when you're in school or when you're outside with your friends. Make sure that they know that God loves them and they can see that through you and the way that you treat them and you share with them. So this week, go share the good news that Jesus is alive and Jesus is always, always with you. He's not a ghost. He's God and he loves you and he's always with you. So go share the good news. Thanks for being here today. We'll see you next time. Bye.